you know, every year we try to improve it and make the game more and more authentic. To do a great job is not just one thing, is getting the thousands of details right. We're really excited about career mode, not just because we added two new series, uh, but also how you do on the racetrack will determine what kind of contracts you get and how much money you get from the various sponsors and which teams you'll be able to ultimately drive for. The whole experience was really uh, motivated by discussion when we had a chance to talk with some of the NASCAR drivers and they described what the experience was like to start out as a new driver and break into the series, break into the first time they race and so we kind of modeled the whole experience after that. One of the things that we wanted to, to model was how it feels to be a driver when somebody comes to you and says hey we're gonna offer you a new sponsorship on a new team and what that might feel like to leave the current team that you're on. We also wanted somebody who um, really liked the team they're on to be able to stay within that team. So as you get better, the team you're on gets better. We're really excited this year to have Brad Kozowski involved in aiding our development. And one of the things we did early on was show him what we we're planning to do for career mode and what it was like. And he was able to kind of give us some guidance and you know suggest some features. One of them that we're really excited about is this idea of momentum. From week to week, if a driver is able to successfully race well and return home with his car intact without damaging it, the team can then therefore focus on improving that car from week to week rather than rebuilding cars for the driver. Having momentum improves basically the equipment that you get to race with. This idea of momentum is really critical to you know a team in real life and so we wanted to model that in our career mode. In the real world, drivers have to make a decision every time they hit the track. How they drive and how they treat their fellow racers on the track have real world implications. You start running some guys off the, the track and you start really being aggressive or overly aggressive with uh, a couple different drivers, you know, from race to race, you'll get feedback from real life drivers telling you, hey, you gotta cut it out out there. You're developing some enemies. Your rough driving's starting to make a few enemies out there. You might want to be careful. As time goes on, you develop sort of on-track rivalries with a couple other drivers who will race you really aggressively. Rivalries will make your experience in your career more difficult. You know, people always want to sort of take their own car and make it their own, and so we have a system in place that allows somebody to change up a base car uh, and add, you know, stripes and a bunch of different uh, logos and stickers on it so they can take something that they might think is cool and make it a car they can drive in the game. Essentially, for each series, a player can come into the custom car setup and create their own look through decals and essentially create their own visual identity. NASCAR Heat 2 arrives September 12th. Pre-order now at nascarheat.com.